What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and I am doing another 1.5 billion talent up. But actually, I'm super excited for this one because I've got my list, right? There's my my list of who I need to take up, and uh, I wouldn't have waited another two weeks for a lot of these moves. I've needed, I've wanted to make them. Also, I'm going to do a couple claims here, because we've got the uh, pass, right? The Ultimate Champions Club pass, and you can kind of see the bonus pulls that are in this. So, I did go ahead and do my bonus pull already on Sammy, just to kind of see what it was, because I, I wanted to test the loot, quite honestly. And I think that's kind of a hidden benefit of the Universal Champions Club, you kind of test the loot. Like, I got five shards, so I was very disencouraged from spending 100 bucks to get 15 times five shards, right? Um, now, it could have been a lot more than that. Rusty had good luck with the Bret Hart loot, but now I've got this right here. I can kind of do a claim on it. So I'm going to do those at the end of the video. First, though, I'm going to do some pulls. So, or I'm sorry, for, uh, some talenting up. So, we've got the competition right here. Part three, you can see I haven't done anything yet with it. And the max milestone is 1.5 billion. That would drain me, but I had very good luck on these chests last time. Uh, I was able, if you watch the video, to get some moments that were just insane for me. And I would love, love, love to get this Hulkamaniac plate or the Hunter's Medallion. Those would be the two things I would love the most. And then secondly, another Scimitars or another Nightmare Insignia would be great. But now, thanks to this chest, um, I've already got, I think, all except for one. Let's see, I need the Tori uh, moment, which I don't see. I got the Sami Zayn. Oh, I need the Acolytes moment. That would be a huge win. But last time I got the NXT arrival and Sami kicked out of the bloodline. Uh, I did just grab the Imperium moment. So if I got that, that would be ironically bad timing. So let's take a look at who we are going to upgrade. Uh, so firstly, I need to grab some coin, some uh, some tokens, because... While I am very tempted to take Tech Rock up now that I've done the Should You Take Him video and he does 80 million at, uh, at gold, I'm very happy with that. I am going to go ahead and take up Punk first because he's been on the list waiting. And so I need to grab two of those Mama Rhodes belts, which is going to suck. Uh, that is 400 million coin right off rip that I could be putting into somebody else. By the way, the Universal Champions Club, those coins are six bucks a piece. I got one free. Testing the loot was great because that's a lot to spend if I didn't like the loot. Uh, if I didn't want to spin the loot in this case. Uh, so let's see here. All the way down somewhere down where I live. All right. Um, almost, 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 almost. There they are. All right. So I need two Mama Rhodeses to take CM Punk up. There's one, which pretty much uh, gets me halfway to what I need for the talent up anyway. Yikes. There's two. Ugh. Now I am uh, significantly depleted on what I started with, but I had a good, had a good couple weeks in coin collections. So let's see if that worked out. All right. So my first move: six star gold, Charles Montgomery Matthews Militant Maggot Punk is going up. Let's see. Booker T I'm fine with. I don't really care about those shards, but just on the in case side. I'll take them from Kofi. Nah, actually, let me take them from Sheik. Oh, and Cowboy Bob. That'll work out great. Don't want to touch Charlotte's. Okay. All right. So here's our first big move. Charles Matthews CM Punk. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to delete him off my list. Got him. Got him. There we go. So that one's done. And then, yeah, one more gold. Hey, 
One more, one more gold. I did get all that I needed for Acroria. So I just got to level her up, which is more coin again, unfortunately. But I also already have her TP done. And I've got all the Yeet shirts that I need. So Yeet. Oh, good. Didn't touch J because I need to use him. Empty Rob Van Dam, Andrade. Really? That's about it? Okay. Sweet. I will use those. That'll be perfect. Okay. So there is two. Delete that. <clears throat> I really hope they will fix how Rhea freezes. Like she just sits there, bounces around, and then boom, she's just like done, frozen. <laughs> All right, heavy metal Rhea, six star gold, no empty stars. Happy with that one too. Very, very happy. All right, next move. I would love for it to be Hogan because I'm, I'm mega zording him together, but I don't want to, nor can I spend to get those. Uh, so that's going to have to be another two week or a month long project. But since we all got the gear for Finn, and since I have 16,000 plus of his shards anyway, and I've got all the related moments, he is definitely one worth taking up. So I can, uh, I can do this without fear, because as you can see, my TP is quite low, quite low across the color spectrum there. And I need those colors for other people that I don't have shards for. So since he is a free, uh, in terms of that resource, up, that is definitely, definitely a move I want to make. And he's hitting something in the neighborhood of 40 million at six silver, running triple purple, and I like triple purple. I know you guys told me I was crazy when I said run him triple purple. That's not the way you do it well in the six gold meta. Triple purple really is the way forward with him. So there you go. If I had enough of the six gold token, I would absolutely take him six gold as well. One, he's chaotic and I can use several of those. Two, he's great for certain boss battles. But as you can see, again, I need a, a lot more of those and I'm not going to buy eight of them anytime soon. But I've got the rest of what I need. So I'll leave him on my list because I want him to, to go up. Uh, I do have one that now I have a hesitation here because I am on track to get Bret Hart really possibly in the next day or two. But I have wanted to take Zombie Sammy Zane, Zombie Sammy Zane to six gold and just haven't been able to get those things for him. Uh, so in protecting myself, I know you guys probably saw him and I just blanked and didn't, but... He's got to be here somewhere, right? All right, let's do it the hard way here. Sam Waugh. And I would love to get this one. If I get the champ, this will actually be a perfect month for me. I've never had a perfect month where I've gotten everybody. But, so Brett uses these focus shards as well. And I really want to take him up. So I need to check and just make sure, is this going to drain? It will. It will literally drain to where I would not be able to take Brett to six stars. So... I don't want to do that. Oh, dang it. He is getting passed up so much, so frequently, and I don't like it. So maybe, maybe you saw my other big... Uh, if you watched the video, you know I already got her. But I was able to take Trish up to six star. I would love to take her six silver. But again, we're talking I've got 4K, and this is going to take me a lot because... Actually, let me show you this move. This is the move that... That would literally drain everything I have except for 900 shards. I have 4,000 there. I have nine. Actually, I could. Let's see. I might be able to do this. What do my focus shards look like? Let's see, if I don't use Hogan or Becky. Oh, I've got a lot of zombie steamboat. Oh, I've got a lot of Stacy Keebler shards. Okay. Okay, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this then because. I really am enjoying Trish, and uh, oh wait, 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 no, no. If I if I do that one move, I only have 900 left, and I need 1500 for these alone. So I can't. Okay, see, stop myself just short of. 
Well, let's see where we're at, because uh, otherwise I want to take uh, Bobby Lashley up for his moment. And he doesn't use the same shards, but how's he doing on tokens? Okay, that would work. How are we doing on that? Ah, see, and then I would need the red TP for him. And, oh, but I do have 12,000 of his shards. Okay, all right. This could be another big win right here, just like Finn was. Get him moving towards six gold, because I would really love to take advantage of that moment. I've got the baddest jacket on him. I've got all the things that I need to make triple red awesome. I just need to get to triple red. Let's see, I'm going to need black shards. Oof, that's going to bring him close, though. Yeah, I'm going to actually end up... Okay, so he's not quite shard-free like I was hoping, but those shards are doing me, doing me some good things. We'll go ahead and use some TP here. Because I'm going to get black TP if and when I get Brett this weekend. I'm, I'm either going to be so close it hurts, or I'm going to get him. But I do have a backup because I still haven't used my my coin, the one coin that I can use to, to get 100 shards of him. So or emblems, whatever they are, uh, currency of some kind. All right, so there we go. We're still doing it shard free. So I think that'll be good. Take him to six star. And then he's going to stay on my list because I want to get him up to gold. I've wanted him for a long time anyway. I got him way later than I had hoped or expected. And, uh, you know, now that he's once again top top of the pile for strikers or near there at least if you have the Miz moment and I do then uh, I want to build him so let's see where we're at once the portal recognizes existence again by the way I shrunk the portal version of the on screen so there's less real estate being taken up by it uh, hopefully that is just more appealing overall so ooh, 11 out of 12 so we were at 14.8 out of 15. So I literally just need to do 20 million more uh, on a move. So let's look. Let's look and see how Mr. ShamWow is. Because I also got that moment right there. And this guy needs to go to the moon for that moment. Um, I need green, don't I? Okay, so that's 1907. How's my other colors? Oop, never mind. See, TP is actually my newest blockade. Now the tokens are flowing and TP is the struggle. So, you know, there's always got to be it somewhere. All right, let's just drop 20 million into to Hulk right here. <clears throat> that should do it. It did. All right. So we've maxed the talent up. Now, let's see. It's not going to go in there for me. And yes, I maxed the solo contest a while ago, a bit ago. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. We're going to do it the scary way that other content creators are nervous to do. Maybe because it freezes like this. There we go. All right, so I got the NXT arrival moment again. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is two in a... Oh! <laughs> yes! I got the Hunter's Medallion. Okay, so this is going to go on to Miz because there's some question whether or not the Nightmare Plate works on him, but it absolutely works on Regal, and the Hunter's Medallion absolutely works on Miz. So we're going to fix that right there. Uh, anything else? Let's see, 75 Brett Shards... Uh, what is this? Extra turn boost. <clears throat> no, thank you. So, yeah, and these aren't takedown twos, right? Nope, they're not. So, uh, that was, once again, very good. If I didn't have this alone, that would have been phenomenal. I know some of you are screaming at your screens like, you just got that twice. Two back-to-back -back talents up in a row, but this is the big win for me. That was the one thing I wanted more than anything on there, and I got it. Also, I need a bunch of these, so as many of those as I can get. So, there's my talent up. Uh, very quick this time around, and I'm happy for that. Now, let's take a look at these claims. So, we're going to go ahead and do our money in the zank loot. 
<laughs> however you say that. And in this loot, I am missing Ellie Knight, I'm missing Bodacious, I'm missing Eo Sky, I'm missing somebody else right here. Uh, oh yeah, Shinsuke and Relentless KO. Those two alone would be, either of them would be phenomenal for, I mean, especially on a paid bonus pull. Can we not call them free? Because they're not free if you're paying for the, the pass, but bonus pull that really let's see if i can get some some money out of this right see if that 30 bucks if i hit even one time in that it would be amazing i mean it would pay for itself and then so, oh my gosh come on well hey five gold becky and bonus i i'll take that okay plus your bonus pulls actually give you points on the ultimate champions club which i think is awesome uh, this one, I need the mountain right there, Massive Man, I need Seth freaking Rollins, I need King Booker, I need TikTok. I now have Dominic, if you saw my six star pulls, that was who I got six gold, and I'm very happy with that. Uh, I don't need the, oh, I need Braun Breaker like crazy. Oh my goodness, I need those double MP trainers, and I definitely need me some Bam Bam. I'm like 150 shards away from him, so any recruit would be great. Let's hit that claim button. See if it's anything good. Shards, bam, bam. Oh, not even shards. <laughs> 15 of those. So, five gold and 15 shards. Not great. So, let me end us out with this. Uh, the likelihood that I'm going to get to the next one so that I could get a guaranteed mega rare is low. So, I may regret it, but it is what it is. Um, I have one more of these than I thought I was going to. Seth freaking Rollins, again, would be great. I would love to get that six gold Seamus fuse. That would be huge. Uh, Oblivion would be huge. I've got her. I don't have Rob Van Dam at all. I don't have RK Bro at all. Uh, I would love the fuse on Randy. I would love the fuse on Goat Becky. I would love the fuse on Hollywood Hogan. And then we're pretty much into waters of guys that I've already got about that high. Oh, Dominator Bobby right there. If I can get that one, all right, let's hope we see gold stars. I know it's the future, and you this has already happened by the time you watch this, but just pray, wish for some gold stars right here. All right, come on, gold. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. Come on, not bronze. Oh, dang it. All right, I don't think there's anybody I need in the bronze, um, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a bonus, not free. Grind it out, six-star character, and it is... Somebody I've already got, but that is a star fill, I think. So, not bad. Well, I didn't uh, actually blow through near as much as I thought I was going to, resource-wise. I mean, still a ton, but not near what it could have been. So, that was not bad at all. Um, so, that's it for this talent up. Took a few more gold. Oh, yeah, actually, let me... Uh, you guys always ask for the roster scroll to see it. So, yeah, let me do the roster scroll real quick, and then we'll end the video. Uh, so CM Punk, not even on my top right here. Where is he? Where'd Rhea go? Okay, so Rhea now is above Becky. Ooh, I don't like that. Becky's always on top. Uh, but look at these. My females right here in that middle row are now killer. I love those. Charlotte needs to come up into that. But definitely got some great on those top two rows. Uh, and at this point, the only thing holding me back from having a top page of all gold is Zombie Steamboat and Ricky the Dragon. So two Ricky the Dragons right in my way there. Uh, Punk is right down here. And then I'm working on Hogan to gold. He's gonna be my, he is my powerhouse priority because look at these moments right here. And all of them now maxed out. Those alone give 225% more damage in every single mode on top of a bunch of other things. That alone would be worth it. Uh, Rock is now my next tech guy that I'm gonna take up, but of course, as you saw, I now have zero Mama Rhodes, but we're gonna give some Mama Rhodes over to the Rock Nation of Domination. Uh, Striker-wise, I'm working up, oh, there he is. I, there he is. I'm still working him up. I just really gotta figure out what I wanna do with the Brett shards. Um, I just, I need striker focus shards like crazy. I mean, that is my single, that and of course, Powerhouse Aggressive, oh, that's chaotic. Powerhouse Aggressive are my two biggest, like, bottlenecks in terms of shards. Other than that, I'm going to continue to work him up to gold. I think he's going to be really good at that. In fact, I think the A-tiers are really making a comeback here. Miz is an A-tier, Bobby Lashley's an A-tier, and Finn Balor's an A-tier. All three huge bonuses because of their moments. 
Uh, Trish is going to go gold before Becky, but I did finally take Becky off camera up to six silver. I just really like her. And as once I get one stinking gear, look at all these moments that she's involved in. Like, holy cats and boots. That is a lot of them. So I want to play her for feud just to see how she does because you can't test that. On the candy store accounts, there's no feud there. Uh, fuse for Nikita, which sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, I like her, but now that I have uh, Tech Charlotte, she'll sit there. Uh, this was my gold pull. I went ahead and took him up to his trainer ability just because I have needed that right there. And uh, yeah, blue gems 40%, blue gems two more, plus that upgraded this moment right here. So I was able to make it happen. Um, other than that, Nothing surprising in what's happened since last we talked, so I think that's a good one. Well, let me know what you thought in the comments section uh, of this video. Like it, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send this to your friend or faction mate who's like, hey, who should I be taking up? What's, you know, what's the guys at Champions Chat doing? This is it, and uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this. It makes a world of difference. You have no idea how much difference it makes that you guys watch these videos, like and support, comment, all of that, because it, it really, it, I mean, truly means a lot. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.